Here, baby and daddy. And she's got your two teeth. You have those teeth. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week in my life. Now, to those of you that watch my videos, you know I am a first time mom who has been slowly pursuing the art of slow living and homesteading. So today I'm cooking a fall inspired dish, some butternut squash pancakes, spoiler alert, they're amazing. I did some gardening, I got some cleaning and organization done, and I'm also gonna be sharing some really special moments that I had with Logan this week. Also, if you like this kind of video, I have made like a ton of day in my life, so I will have my playlist linked down below. So with all of that being said, let's hop right in. So we're starting off this week with a insanely delicious dinner that I made. Um, so I had a lot of tomatoes that were ripening in the garden. So I picked a bunch of them and decided to make a pasta. Now this idea I actually got from Farmhouse on Boone and she is kind of like one of my cooking idols in the sense that she's got six kids and those kids seem to eat fresh all of the time. She doesn't meal plan. Her way of eating just seems really chill and healthy and I just, I love her. Anyways, one of the tips that she gave was to basically just use a ton of herbs to concoct your dish. I had a ton of basil, sage, and rosemary growing outside as well as the tomatoes. So I cut up a bunch of the herbs for this super simple but incredibly delicious pasta I'm going to make. So I started off by pulling the basil leaves off of the stem. By the way, I get a lot of questions about that basket that I showed. Um, my sister actually bought that for me for like $1.50 from a thrift store. She knew specifically what I was looking for and when she was out, she found it. So thank you, Shayna. Then I chopped up my sage and my rosemary. By the way, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I had grown sage um, in my tower garden inside and I didn't know what to do with it. I have to report though to you now, sage is now one of my favorite herbs. Sage with butter in like anything, like you're gonna see today, like just pasta, I'm sure on a meat. Um, it's just so good. So I boiled some water with some salt in it, as you saw. Then I put a bunch of butter in a pan and then I threw in my sage my rosemary, and then I drizzled a little bit of olive oil. Now, I was literally making this up as I went because I just took Lisa's advice, that's farmhouse on Boone, Lisa, kind of just, you know, threw the herbs in the pan and decided I wanted to make this buttery herb dish. So once the herbs had cooked a little bit, I added some garlic that we grew in our garden. So exciting, it's so good and I threw that in the pan to brown a little bit. And while that was heating up, I also chopped my tomatoes in half. Side note, we have not gotten a ton of tomatoes like we expected, but I did get a lot and they have all been so good. I threw the tomatoes on the pan to cook a little bit. I basically just took pasta, added in the butter herb oil mixture, the tomatoes, and a little bit of grated Parmesan. Um, I think I added a little bit of crunchy salt as well. And this was so good, it was upsetting. Like so simple, so tasty. I think the next night we made it again and I added lemon juice on top and that was delicious as well. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt this portion for a cute clip of Logan. Whee! <laughs> Try this out. Let me play. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you like the watermelon? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> me. You want more? Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? Is that good, little baby? Enjoying yourself? You want more? Yeah. 
my first signs. Hey, it's a baby like you. Look at that food. So he's offering her food. And it means I would like to eat. Look at her eating just like you eat. And there's mama. Look at those are the teeth that are coming in on you right there. You have those teeth coming in. So she asks mama for milk by going like that. See that? Milk. Oh, can I have some more, daddy? So she has her food, but she wants more. So she goes, she does that. And then over here, she says, thank you, daddy. So she goes like that. Oh, will you read me a book, mama? We're looking at this book right now. We got another book right here. We're looking at them. So as you guys know, I'm obsessed with Costco. So Dan went to Costco on this day and he got some peaches, which this is one of the few times that I was actually disappointed in Costco produce. I didn't love the peaches, but everything else we got, I've basically already eaten and it was amazing. Then I decided that my fridge was a mess. So this is the before shot of my fridge when I decided it needed to be fully cleaned. I've mentioned this before, but I do this probably like once a month-ish where I take everything out of the fridge and I really try to go through every single item and I wipe everything down just to start with a fresh slate. I'm someone that has like a lot of variety of food in my fridge, herbs and nut butters and veggies and fruits. And I cook with a lot of different ingredients often. Obviously doing this is not only a good way to like get everything clean, but also take an account for all of the little bits and ends I have left. And then it gives me a chance to think of how I want to use them. By the way, I've gotten a ton of questions about this dress. I'm obsessed with it. I got it on sale from J. Crew maybe like four or five months ago. And I thought I was gonna need to get it sized in a little bit, but the longer I have it, the more I think it's like the perfect fit. So it's unfortunately not for sale anymore. I'm sorry guys, but I just wanted to let you know that at least. By the way, this was my after. Much easier to see how everything was divvied up. I love the feeling of a clean fridge because it inspires me not only to eat healthier, but then I get ideas of things to cook. I mean, I feel like that's true of everything, right? When it's like picked up and presented nicely, your brain, I feel like, can sometimes see the possibilities more. All right, so on this day, we needed to take a walk. And we often just take a walk around our neighborhood, but sometimes we need a change of scenery. Obviously, I don't even know why I'm explaining that. I'm sure you get it. So we went to a local park and this place is cool. I've shown it before. This is actually where we did our gender reveal. It used to be an airport and now it's just a park where people go and ride bikes and rollerblade and walk their dogs. By the way, if you watch my videos, you know I'm obsessed with these like rubber straws. I get a lot of questions about them. You can actually find them on my blog website situation. By the way, I think I'm finally uploading it tomorrow, but this dress that I'm obsessed with is from a company called Outer Known, and I basically got like a new mommy wardrobe from them. 
And this is one of the pieces, as I mentioned. So I'm super excited to share that haul with you. Like I said, hopefully tomorrow. By the way, I have mentioned this before and I actually have a discount code, but this backpack is a diaper bag and I'm so obsessed with it. I will continue using this backpack, I would imagine after I'm done using it as a diaper bag because it's so beautiful, it's durable, it's sleek. I just really like it. So um, like I mentioned, I actually have a discount from Fawn Design, so I'll put that down below. a very exciting portion of this video and that is butternut squash pancakes now this recipe basically this recipe I always change things a little bit but it came out of Kristen Cavallari's cookbook called true roots her recipes are really great at least everything I've tried out of that book I have loved I'm almost gonna go so far as to say that it's my current favorite cookbook um, like I said, at least the recipes that I have made so far. Anyways, I basically roasted some butternut squash and then I threw it into my food processor. Yes, I am pumping right now, by the way. And I added a little bit of water in there and I blended it up to make it more of a puree. Then I took my oats and I ground those up to make an oat flour. Next up, I put my oats in my butternut squash. I added four eggs to the mix, as well as some organic ground cinnamon. Then I added, obviously, not a super specific amount of our homemade vanilla extract to the mix, as well as some baking soda. Then I decided to add some hemp hearts, because I add hemp hearts to everything. And that was my batter. So I took a little bit of coconut oil that I got in this jumbo tub from Costco. I added that to my pan, and then you probably can guess the rest of the drill. I just made my pancakes. I will say my first batch, I definitely undercooked. You wanna wait till bubbles start coming up on the other side, as far as I can tell. I did that, like waited for a little more bubbles the second time around, and it worked out better. The more cooked these were, I just think they tasted a little better. Then I buttered my pancakes and pulled out this wild four bourbon maple syrup that I got from Costco and I went to town people, <laughs> so good. Another thing that I did and that I like to do often is roasting veggies. I will often roast veggies, yes, like for meals, but I will purposefully make more so that I have leftovers for later um, or just for different things. Like if I want to make a salad or a soup or even a sandwich um, or throw them in my eggs or something. So this was kind of random, but on this day, I decided to roast some carrots with some thyme that I had on hand, as well as some rosemary from the garden. By the way, I did pick a couple more items from my garden. Just thought I'd show you my haul. Um, also, these were my leftover pancakes. They saved so well and I ended up eating the rest later in the day. So speaking of roasting veggies, we also decided to roast some Brussels sprouts that we had on hand. So Dan actually chopped those up for me. All 
All right, guys, a random cute moment from the week is Logan eating avocado. Um, so Logan eats, like you guys have seen it, but Logan doesn't eat a ton or like super often. But on this day, he went to town on that avocado. I had to like whip out my camera because I was just amazed. I was in awe of my baby eating avocado. Like I had that baby and now that baby is eating food. What the heck? So another thing we harvested from the garden were a ton of jalapenos. So Dan decided to make us some jalapeno poppers, which bless you, Dan, because I love jalapeno poppers so much. So he harvested all of these jalapenos. We do really well with peppers. Like this is our third year where peppers have just kind of thrived in our garden. Um, so they've all been super tasty. So he cut them in half and then cut out the seeds because if you're new to the pepper world and you didn't know this the seeds are a big part like in the spine of what um causes the spiciness so it's still gonna be spicy without it but he started by coring that out and then he made a mixture i think it was like a cream cheese goat cheese chipotle kind of seasoning i don't actually know because he did this on his own So I had made Dan this little breakfast platter on this morning, and we're big orange fans around here, but it's not just us, guys. Bowser loves oranges as well. This was my breakfast plate, by the way. <laughs> it was absolutely delicious. I love hard boiled eggs. I love pickles. I love pistachios. I love avocado toast. Those tomatoes were totally from my garden. Um, I've got goat cheese on there and everything but the bagel seasoning, olive oil, lemon juice, chunky salt, and those are Kara Kara oranges. And we all know how I feel about Kara Kara oranges. If you don't, I love Kara Kara oranges. And then I had my unsweetened passion fruit iced tea and round one of that day's vitamins. So now we're making our way up to Logan's room, which Logan's room makes me really happy because it's turning out to be everything I had personally hoped for in his baby room, which is peaceful and chill and just not overwhelming. And I feel like we've been, we've gotten that vibe. So anyways, Logan was having a little bit of a hard time today because he has been teething and we all know what teething brings, just hard times. I will be talking about teething, by the way, at some point, um, but I'm definitely in the thick of it right now, guys. Oh, or I should say he's in the thick of it, my poor baby. Who else finds themselves obsessing over their baby's weirdest faces? Just go ahead and raise your hand. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna check out my last two videos, here they are, a Q and A and a day in my life. Also, if you're still hearing my voice, check the info box because I am doing a giveaway for all of you that care to stick around to the end or for those of you who just know that I always do these secret giveaways. So with all of that being said, I will hopefully see you back here soon with another new video. All right, bye guys.